Who would have thought? Yes, it's the smart digital multimeter that you wear in your wrist. Brand new from CZ Dang, the K8. Now that's something you don't see every day. And a big keyboard testing shout out to Banggood. Thanks so much for sending the K8 in for this review. You guys are awesome. Woohoo! CZ Dang K8, funny name, but it is nonetheless the name of this cool looking watch. Well, it's actually not a watch. Let me get this straight off the get go. This thing does not tell time. What a disappointment. I mean, right off the get go, you'd think this was a watch, especially when it's off. Like so, kind of looks almost like a smart digital watch, doesn't it? You turn it on and you're not gonna get the time. No, you're gonna go into auto mode, but it will tell you the temperature. Anyway, I was just kind of disappointed because I, I thought this was a watch slash multimeter, but it, it's a multimeter that you wear in your wrist like a watch. <sighs> okay, got that out of the way. CC Dan K8, probably a name you haven't heard before. I know I never did. That's okay. Yeah, here you go. You get a box like so. And on the box, right away, it looks like one of those cool smart watches, doesn't it? But it even says smart digital multimeter wrist worn auto range. Yeah. Besides the box, you don't get much. You get a tiny, and I mean tiny, little operator manual and one of those little cheesy uh, six centimeter USB C cables. <sighs> anyway. Accordion style, multimeter manual, operator's manual, whatever you want to call it. Uh, all the gist is in here. Some interesting things. One of them was the fact that this does have your standard multimeter accuracy of 0.5% plus or minus uh, three digits. So that's kind of cool. And something else that's cool is that this has, are you ready? 6,000 count display. Yes, 6,000 big ones display. Uh, you're getting on this little liquid crystal uh, multimeter. Not only that, you're getting a three times per second sampling rate, three times per second uh, over range detection with the good old OL. And that's about it. But uh, hey, you know what? It's cool. Didn't send me back many, many Dinato. We're talking about 25 bucks Canadian, around $20 US, 18, 19 euros, something like that. So yeah, not expensive at all. Well, not really that expensive. One thing that stands out immediately is the fact that you do have a big, bold display. Now, when this thing is off, and let's just turn it off for a second. Yeah, when it's off, you get nothing. Nada. I mean, nothing. No time, nothing. So that's a huge disappointment once again. Like, wh why? Why do we have to be in multimeter mode all the time? If you want me to wear this like a watch, show me some bloody time. Anyway, yeah, that's that's my, uh, my peeve. You do get two test leads. Yes, two test leads that are permanently attached to the meter. And when I say permanently, I mean, yeah, they're attached to the meter. They are tethered long-term to this multimeter style watch uh, meter. So there they are. Now, the worst part about this, and I, right away I'm going to another negative, is the fact that look at the size of these test leads compared to the K8 itself. I mean, they're huge. They should have made the test lead half the size, half the size, and give us a little groove here because right now there's no way to store those test leads. No way to store them. Like, seriously? Yeah, so here you are. Uh, this is what it looks like. And literally, these test leads are dangling, dangling like some long lost God knows what. They're just dangling, dangling, dangling. I mean, there's nowhere to put them. Uh, you, you, you can kind of stick them if you want. You can kind of, ouch, jeez, oh, anyway. Oh, you get the idea. But I mean, like, like, seriously. Oh, hang on. What's that? You want to know what time it is? Uh, it is 19 degrees in auto mode. Uh, compared to a regular multimeter, it's small-ish. But um, it's it's just, you know, it's... It, <sighs> okay. Now, truth be told, it does come off. So you can take it off that watch strap just like so and now you have basically a tiny little multimeter that you can maybe i don't know put around your neck like a like a necklace kind of thing going on here if you wanted to maybe um but there you go so it, it, it does come off it does come off speaking of coming off let's 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 get rid of this shall we there we go that's better yeah 
USB-C right there on the side, chargeable. Apparently charging shouldn't take more than about an hour to get a full charge. And we have those two little holes there. I believe that's for the speaker. Uh, so yeah, there you are. And then and that's it. That's it. I mean, that's it. That's it. By this way, the, 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 the strap itself, it's like silicone, I guess waterproof, what have you, you know. I only saw it in red. The box, it's white, kind of looks cool and white, but this one came in red. Didn't have any other choices. It was red, like just red. Lots of red going on. Uh, yeah. And when you turn on your wristwatch multimeter, um, you right away go into auto mode. So let's just turn this off. Turn it back on. Bada boom, bada bing, we are in auto mode. And yeah, now in auto mode, you can test uh, AC or DC volts uh, as well as resistance and continuity. And I think that's it. I think I should look at the manual again. Uh, what do we got here? Resistance. Oh, oh, we have a frequency mode as well. Up to 100 kilohertz. So we can do a frequency as well. So frequency, resistance up to 60 mega ohm. Uh, yeah, I mean, obviously this thing is limited in what it can or cannot do, but uh, considering, I mean, it does some stuff. And let's just try this auto mode. So I, I've got that precision resistor here, and, and let's just wing it. Take off those tips. And you can see they are tiny little tips. And let's just see if we're anywhere near 100 ohm in auto mode for anywhere near 100 ohms and okay so it wasn't making contact really well but uh it is now so well look at that 100 ohms oh my goodness gracious now let's see if we have any resistance on the test leads well, there's no way to roll them out but it's good to know and we have no resistance we do have continuity though it's slow but it's there. Interesting. Okay, here we are right now sticking it into the AC wall outlet. Well, an extension cord. 119.8 volts AC. Uh, this did not mention true RMS. So it's pretty close though. Yeah, look at that, 120 volts. Awesome, great, good stuff. Yeah, and we have that frequency down below. So there's a frequency, look at that, 60 hertz. Oh yeah. So that's kind of cool. We're getting our dual readout. Uh, and I've got to say that LCD display is definitely clear, crisp. Um, it lets you know what's going on. We have the one-touch hold as well. Um, yeah, you know, your standard. Also, you can see up close, we have a little bit of uh, bleeding, but not too bad. The auto power off APO is on by default. It will turn off after about seven or eight minutes on its own. So, uh, I mean, hey, why not? I guess when in Rome... All in all, pretty crisp, clear display. AC, DC volts uh, coming up. Uh, auto mode is what it defaults to. We have that one touch hold. Uh, temperature is always there. And with the backlight enabled, uh, it definitely makes a difference. And once again, on the side of that unit, yeah, there's that uh, infamous USB-C port. Looking good. Okay, let's take a look now on the inside. And man, oh man, it is a small PCB. A lot of flux going on though. A little on the messy side. There's the main IC. It is uh, etched out. We don't know what it is. There's our USB-C charging port. Um, that is our EEP ROM over there. Yeah, I gotta say, uh, you know, put a lot here in a little space. This uh, chip over here, SF2613B, couldn't find any info on it, couldn't find a data sheet, uh, but there it is. I find it hard to believe that'd be an LCD controller, but an anyway, um, speaker P is over there. Oh, look at that, look at that. Not good, this is a brand new watch, and you can see that flux underneath too, but that is way loose. That's gonna come off in no time. I mean, like, come on, guys, seriously? Ugh, anyway. Uh, yeah, I'll have to fix that before I, I put it back together, but uh, a little bit disappointing, to say the least. By the way, we've got four tiny, and I mean tiny Phillips, uh, to keeping this little uh, multimeter uh, together. Uh, anyway. Took a look at the battery here. 130 milliamp hour, 3.7 volt lithium. Uh, should last you, I don't know how long. Doesn't say in the manual. Now, one thing I really do like is the fact that in continuity mode... 
Yeah, you've got that little visual indicator, a little LED that lights up, letting you know all is good. Cool. Closing thoughts on the CZ Dang K8. Besides the horrible name, it's a horrible watch. I mean, multimeter. Ugh. Yeah, pass this one by. Nothing out there. Uh, it's just kind of lame. That won't get me wrong. There's definitely a cool factor when you have a multimeter on your wrist. Yeah, you're going to really, you know, be the... Uh, <clears throat> You're going to be a popular guy or a girl. That being said, though, end of the day, they missed the boat in a huge way, in a titanic way, because they didn't put a watch on the watch multimeter. What the? Yeah, you just can't have a meter like this with this design without telling the time. Makes no sense, at least to me. Too bad, really, because if this would have told the time, as well as being a basic multimeter, I think this could have been really useful as it is it's kind of a novelty and you know you're gonna use it probably not you can't even store the test leads unless you impale yourself and that my friends is rather painful oh to call this a smart digital wrist multimeter and not being able to store those tap captive test leads that is just unforgivable unforgivable no now, end of the day, this is going to spend more time in that glove compartment or on the floor or God knows where, but not on your wrist. It just doesn't make any sense. Too bad because the idea was uber cool. Hey, who knows? Maybe we can have a version 2.0 and they can actually do it right. Add a watch, please. The CZ Dang K8 Smart Digital Multimeter for the wrist gets a lackluster 2 <laughs> out of 5 stars. I'm giving it the one extra star just because it's got a hot red color. Hey, thanks for watching this review, everybody. Till the next one, keep on testing.